Sea scalloping takes place along the U.S. East Coast from North Carolina to Canada. The fishery lands 50 million pounds of meats annually, worth over $250 million at the dock, and possibly a billion dollars to the nation's economy. Virtually all of the scallops are harvested using New Bedford-style dredges. The steel dredges range from 8 to 15 feet in width and are fished singly or paired. The front of the dredge frame is called a bale and culminates in a single toe point. The top of the rear portion of this frame has a depressive plate and the lower part of that frame has a cutting bar mounted on shoes. The bag is attached to the frame via a sweet chain on the bottom and a mesh twine top on the top. The space between the sweet chain and dredge frame has a large opening. The opening is large enough for turtles to enter the scallop dredge bag. To prevent this from occurring, we developed a turtle chain mat to cover the opening. To determine how these chains work, extensive field tests were undertaken. These tests included the use of Examined takes of sea turtles indicate that the greatest risk of injury occurs when a turtle comes on board the vessel, inside or on top of the dredge. This view of the handling of a large catch of scallops in approximately 50 bushels demonstrates the danger this operation may pose to a turtle unobserved by the crew in the catch. Turtle mortality and injury would be greatly reduced if they are not caught in the first place. The question arises, why are turtles even interacting with scallop dredges? In other fisheries, loggerhead turtles have been observed to feed on a discard catch from the vessel. Scallop vessels shuck the scallops at sea and continuously discard the viscera overboard. There is some speculation that the turtles may be following the vessels and feeding on this discard. The shucking capacity of the vessel is controlled by limiting the crew size to seven men. Three men shucking on a watch can provide a solid jump line behind the vessel. When scallop dredges are hauled back, the sweep chain leaves the bottom and the dredge is capable of catching anything that can't avoid entering the bag. The turtle chains effectively block the space during the haul back. To determine whether turtles feed on scallop viscera, we developed a technique in which a milk crate can be suspended at any depth and observed by camera. It will be important to determine if turtles are attracted to scallop viscera, and if so, do they feed in the water column We have also utilized a low-cost technique where the scallop vessel will drift with a camera that can be held off the bottom to look for evidence of dredge impacts or turtle encounters. Turtles are known to feed on crabs, which may also be attracted to an area where scallop fishing is taking place. The use of a fixed frame for camera drops has been used in the past to provide a quantifiable image for more detailed analysis of dredge impacts. 
Dredge paths can be analyzed to determine the impact of turtle chains. Turtles have also been observed to come up on dredges wedged between the depressor plate and cutting bar or bale. We have extensively tested means to block this space to keep large skates and flatfish from entering the dredge through this pathway. A combination of a roller sweep under the bale and excluder rings attached above this sweep and running aft and upwards to the depressor plate has been shown to effectively reduce the capture of large skates and flatfish. A refinement of this design may significantly reduce the take of sea turtles. Turtle chains should be effective on most bottom types, including uneven sand bottoms. Many areas of sand and gravel bottom also contain occasional boulders. Turtle chain mats should also be able to function successfully on this type of bottom without sustaining much damage since they are constructed of hardened grade of steel chain. This chain has the strength equivalent of the larger diameter and heavier rock chains traditionally used in the fishery. Loggerhead turtle interactions and other bycatch problems can be mitigated by managing the scallop resource to attain higher catches per unit effort. Starfish wipe out dense scallop beds requiring longer tow times and increasing the chances of turtle encounters. Turtles and scallops cannot be managed without a broad ecosystem approach.